Hi everyone, this is Joy Paris with RichfulNetwork.tv. We're excited to be on the blue carpet for the premiere of Why Women Kill on CBS All Access Original Shows. It's deadly, delicious, and daring. So stay tuned and keep watching RichfulNetwork.tv. Well, of course, we're with the fabulous Mark Cherry, who needs no introduction. And of course, the question again is, which you've heard many times, what brought you to this show? I became fascinated by the idea of showing women in different decades face the same issue and how the era in which someone lives shapes their expectations and their actions. And I wanted to show how women have changed and how women haven't changed. And this became just a kind of a, a brand new concept to base a soap opera on. And it was really exciting. And I, I don't know that I could have gotten away with this on a broadcast network, but CBS All Access as a, a tremendous streaming service. They got it and they were so supportive and, and it's turned out beautifully. How much of your growing up impacts your work? Uh, my, my family's past definitely uh, affects my work. I grew up in Orange County, California. So Fullerton and Yorba Linda is where I lived as a kid, and so you see the roots of that in uh, Desperate Housewives, and um, certainly, you know, this show, uh, the 1963 era, you know, m my mother looked like how Jennifer Goodwin looks in the show, my mom's a redhead, so, you know, Marsha Cross portrayed my mom in Desperate Housewives, Jennifer Goodwin's portraying her in the show, but also, you know, the... Uh, the upper middle class of it all. That was very much how I was raised. And I got to see my mother and her friends do all sorts of interesting things and it's all become tax deductible at this point. You've done so many shows about women. What have you learned about you, yourself? What do you take away from this experience? Well, the best thing for me about working with women is that I see them as collaborators and I care far more about their brains and their senses of humor than I do about their looks. And that's led me to some really fabulous actresses who I've gotten to collaborate with and become close to. And I think the women themselves know that I'm coming at them. What I want from them is is something more than sometimes how Hollywood treats women. And um, I've, I've just, I've been enriched by this experience because I've formed so many deep, abiding friendships with my actresses and I've had a lot of fun you know when you work with people like you know Eva Longoria or like Lucy Liu I mean you're gonna spend all day laughing and having a good time and so if you can describe why women kill in three words how would you describe it three words deliciously wicked fun <laughs> thank you so much Mark so lovely to meet you. lovely to meet you too thanks so much what about the handsome devilish Fabulously good looking Mr. Davenport. Mm -hmm. Well, you are a very good looking man, so we have to give you kudos. Well, <laughs> I, I had nothing to do with this. Mom and Dad, everything to do with it. Yay, Mom and Dad. Yay, DNA. <laughs> and DNA. Well, it's wonderful to meet you, and it's about the show, so tell us the character you play. I play a character called Carl Grove. I'm married to Lucy Liu's character, Simone, and we are a married couple in the mid 80s living in Pasadena. Um, uh, and we're living a very uh, conspicuously consumptive life, in, as people did in the 80s. Uh, we're dressed like refugees from Alexis Carrington's walk-in closet. And um, I have the misfortune to horribly betray her uh, in the first episode, and we work forwards from there. Very intriguing, and we need to know more about this. So when you got the script, of course, what made you say, I'm in, I'm all the way in? Well, principally, the man to my left, Mark Cherry, who Mark and I have been circling each other for about a decade, trying to work together, and we finally got it to figure out. And uh, I just thought that a lot of elevator pitch single concept shows don't really stand up, but the idea of just basically three shows in one, set in the same place, but in three different time periods, it is, it's, it's a simple idea that allows you to deal with an awful lot. Um, and he does it with his 
signature wit and and also understanding of the darker recesses of the human heart and uh, and we have quite a lot of fun with it so all those reasons did you get a chance to sort of like think about the different eras and like how women have changed within your well, yeah. I mean, you, uh, you know, when we do the table read, because for two thirds of the show, we have nothing to do with it. Um, so we hear them at the table reads, and then we, like you, we get to see them the night of. Um, uh, but it, I, I, on the page, let alone when it's come to life, I feel like they really do find ways to explore how those dynamics have changed and in some cases how they haven't which I think is sort of equally interesting uh, so you know we live in a very different world to the 60s and the 80s but there are some we, we still could do better <laughs> well it's a work in progress well, I'm excited to see the show but before you leave the carpet social media so everyone can find you and follow you and stay in touch I don't do any social media whatsoever. You can just Google his name and you will find everything you need to know. You are in this fabulous series. I'm excited to find out. So tell us about your character. Who do you play? I play Amy, um, who is Lucy Liu's character's daughter. She has been away from home, but she, um, like a tornado, rolls right back in after she finds out that her fiance had uh, wronged her with an ex-relationship. So all hell breaks loose from then on. Now this is all about, you know, women being betrayed and just finding a way to um, be compensated. When you got the script and you read these stories, what was the first thought that came into your head? This is so brilliantly funny. It was so good. I couldn't, I couldn't say no. And on top of the opportunity to work with Lucy is just, I mean, it's truly a great milestone to cross, you know. I, I watched Lucy for the longest time, so when I was given this opportunity, I had to hop on it. Mm -hmm. how, how did you prepare for your role? Find my brattiest, uh, childishest self, <laughs> the most irrational, uh, most unreasonable person in me or in my childhood. Yeah. Any friends that reminded you of your character? Any friends? I'm, I'm sure. Nothing, nothing. I'm sure at some point, you know, as adults, maybe I can pick some things out, but uh, no, she's so ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're excited for you, but can you describe this show, this series in three words? How would you describe it? In three words. Oh, that's right. why women kill. Come on, you can do this. How would you describe Revenge against wronged. Revenge against wrong. I like that. <laughs> well, congratulations. Before you leave the blue carpet, social media, so everyone can find you, follow you, and stay in touch. L I L I J U N L I. <laughs>